What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. Man, I was born to motivate you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, your friend, Keith Allen. Okay, so as you may know, warming up is a critical part of high-level gameplay. Since Fortnite is so mechanical and generally just such an advanced game, it requires a much better warm-up to maximize your performance in-game. In this video, I'm so pumped up, we're gonna be going over the best warm-up maps and routines that you should be using to maximize your game performance. You guys ready for this? Yo, let's do this. But before we start, on our website, we recently introduced our Pro VOD review service, where you can get your own gameplay reviewed and analyzed by a pro player who can help you spot and improve on your mistakes, saving you time and helping you prove dramatically. So make sure to check out our website over at ProGuides.com. All right, guys, with that said, what we're going to be doing in this video is first showing you a bunch of the best creative maps to use in your warm up, then some specific strategies that you can use while warming up as well to maximize your time. Make sure to stick around, guys, because we've got some awesome stuff coming up in this video. All right, bunch of crunch army. It's about that time. I'm so pumped up. Come on, say it with me. It's time to sit back. Come on, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, where's my bunch of crunch? That's messed up. Let's get this going. The first map that I wanna show you guys is a super unique map that just recently came out and it's created by a content creator known as Tito. This map is basically a pick your own warm up. This map essentially has a ton of different maps and sections that you can use within the map to warm up all aspects of your game. This map is great if you're the type of person who likes to keep it simple and doesn't want to use a ton of maps to warm up. Okay, so if you want to keep it simple and you want your whole warm up in one place, then be sure to check out this map. This second map we recommend warming up with is made by the editing legend himself, Raider464. This map has it all guys, aim, edits, peaks, pretty much everything involved in box fights you can practice using this one map. So what we recommend and doing in this map is heading through a few different stations to target your weaknesses in game. This map is amazing for repetition and really lets you drill down specific skills with so many awesome and unique drills that you could try out. So make sure to give Raiders map a shot, all right? Speaking of maps that can really help with repetition, another amazing map that's been absolutely exploding in popularity is Orange Guy's warm-up map. This guy's like a dope YouTuber who posts glitches and tips and tricks, and his map is, man, is, is good. <laughs> this map is amazing for repetition and has some extremely unique drills like the brand new infinite floor edits, which help you work on your speed and efficiency on single tile edits, the edit downs, which are similar, and the same extreme drilling with wall edits edits as well. The reason this map is so great is because it allows you to drill all your basic edits extremely hard compared to other maps and this thing he sets up with multiple builds per tile is going to end up being one of the best forms of practice for your general editing. All right, guys, our fourth creative map on this list is going to be Raiders Aim Dual Map. Since we've used the other three maps to get our mechanics on point, the next step is quite obviously to get our aim on point. And no other method has been proven to work for all platforms and all inputs better than aim duels. Aim duels are one of the most effective ways to really improve your close range aim. With pretty much any weapon from shotguns to SMGs and others, and allow you to really just hone in on one specific skill related to your aim. Raiders Aim Dual Maps is absolutely amazing as it offers a ton of different maps and scenarios, a great variety of weapons to choose from, and multiple choices for health as well. Simply pick all your settings and have your friend pick theirs and just start whichever scenario you like. In terms of aim training, all right, we recommend doing overall aim training for about 10 to 30 minutes. With most casual players being closer to 10, this is definitely a good amount where you're not spending too much of your time on it and also not really burning out while still getting a good amount of progress where you're going to be seeing results. So hop into Raiders map next time that you guys are warming up. All right. And get that aim on point. The last map that I want to show you guys is another aim training map, but this one only requires one player and resembles the aim trainer Kovacs very closely. This map is 
really dope as well for pretty much all things aim with a massive variety of scenarios and really allows you to hone in on specific skills flick shots click timing tracking all that stuff man this map has it so no matter what type of player you are this aim trainer is absolutely amazing and should definitely be included in your routine. With that said, guys, that's going to be it for the creative maps in this video, but I want to cover some other warm up techniques that are going to help you guys tremendously as well. But speaking of things that is going to help you guys tremendously, make sure to check out our website over at ProGuys.com. It's notorious for our 24 7 on demand coaching from pro players who can help you save time and improve fast. Whatever your goals are with Fortnite, ProGuys.com is here to help you achieve them. So go check it out today. All right, guys, so the first method that I like to cover is one of the best for warming up, and that's utilizing the movement modulator, aka the speed pad in creative. Okay, all you got to do in order to set this up is set up two pads, one with normal and one with fast speed, with both pads being infinite time. Then simply just hop on the fast pad and practice your building and editing with faster speed, all right? This is gonna make it much more difficult, but it's gonna give you a new challenge. And for those of you who pretty much have their mechanics down on normal speed, doing this, guys, yo, this is gonna help you improve tremendously, even if you're already insane mechanically. Obviously, what's a warm up without 1v1s, right? Including 1v1s in your warm up routine has been a staple of Fortnite since Creative came out. So, during your warm up, guys, don't forget to do those 1v1s to basically take all your mechanics and all the things you practice in Creative Maps and just put them to use. So while you're warming up during your 1v1s, it's absolutely crucial as well to go against people who actually challenge you. If you just play against a friend and dominate the whole time, you're really not learning or improving during your 1v1s. In terms of what you should actually do for 1v1s, it's really up to you. All the current 1v1 methods like box fights, all right, build fights, realistics, they're all good and are gonna help you with different skills. So it's really all up to you. One thing that you can do is focus specifically on your weaknesses. So quite obviously, do box fight if you struggle when box fighting, build fights if you're falling behind on building and retakes, etc. You get my point. This is going to allow you to maximize your improvement while warming up and should yield some pretty, pretty nice results. All right. Finally, the last method that you should be doing when warming up is learning new techniques. <laughs> if you really think about it, finding a new technique to practice and master during your warmups only allows you to, you know, obviously learn a new technique, but warm up at the same time. There's really no downside to learning new techniques when you warm up. And this is what a lot of pros and high level players do pretty much every time they warm up. So they can just master some new techniques and at the same time on the rest of their gameplay. It's all about using your time efficiently when you're trying to improve at the game, especially for those of you like in school or have jobs. So implementing your learning into your warm up is gonna help you guys save time and improve at the same time. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Overall, guys, you know, it's been a great video today. So by utilizing some of the creative maps and strategies in this video, I guarantee you, you're going to see a ton of improvement in your overall skill and really just feel more, you know, comfortable and prepared to dominate once you're finished this warm up. So try to have a good mix of practice, including mechanics, you know, aim, one of the ones during your warm up. And I'm telling you, you're going to find yourself in improving in all these categories much faster as a result. All right, guys, keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.